development. We have a standing by in Lagos for reactions uh, to this change of story between Nigeria and the Republic of Niger. The publisher, Inside Watch Africa, Oluwashi Adeyemo, thank you for joining us at uh, this time. W what would you say are the implications of this uh, uh, directive now? Is it a win-win for Nigeria and uh, ECOWAS, or is it a case of Nigeria bowing to the military junta in Niger? Absolutely not. I'm excited, extremely excited. I mean, like you rightly described, is a very, very positive development. I mean, some of us have continued to um, advocate, you know, even when this happened, that um, the best way to deal with the situation, yes, nobody supporting uh, coup d'etat or uh, military incursion, um, you know, by any means in any country in Africa, but we could deal with this in a better way by ensuring that we open up economic opportunities for ourselves with our immediate neighbors, and ensuring that we're able to leverage on security, uh, you know, cooperation with our neighbors. So for me, this is the best way to go. Um, it is something that uh, some of us are clamor for over and over again, and we're very thankful that Mr. President clearly has shown that he's a listening president. I know for a fact that two days ago, the governor of Kanun met with him, and um, uh, some uh, northern governors have continued to meet with him because of the very strategic, uh, you know, um, development this will bring to the table. So I'm excited that um, the the um, emergency meeting that was held and the uh, resolve that was, you know, um, that was agreed uh, has been uh, eventually, you know, uh, effected by the president. So I'm very, very excited, uh, you know, about this development. And I can tell you, you know, um, expressly that this is going to bring a lot of positive development to uh, our relationship with our immediate neighbors. And I continue to deliberately mention our immediate neighbors because this definitely is what is needed for us to be able to enjoy the uh, economic gains and the security gains that will come with this. I'll hold you for a moment and bring in our foreign affairs correspondent, Moyo Thomas, uh, for more on this. Uh, Moyo, tell us, you know, what the import of this is and uh, the link between it and the calls from different quarters for Nigeria and indeed ECOWAS to lift sanctions imposed on these uh, ECOWAS countries. Uh, I think I would say the importance of this is the fact that ECOWAS is is, is um, taking its word of remaining united very strongly. And we have seen the action and even the action that Nigeria has also uh, lifted the no-flying no zone ban. And it shows that ECOWAS, uh, now the junta in Niger, uh, Burkina Faso, and Mali needs to now take action to show their readiness to actually return to ECOWAS and withdraw their letter of exit. All right, then Moyo Thomas, our foreign affairs correspondent for us in Abuja. Thanks a lot, Moyo. Uh, let's return to Mr. Adeyemo in uh, Lagos. Let's talk about how this impacts uh, the masses around the border town. Is it a diplomatic win for them as well? A lot of, which is something we need to work on, a lot of informal trade that goes you know, on between these two countries. And they're huge. You'll be shocked at how much uh, we trade amongst ourselves informally. Uh, and uh, all of those people who live at this other um, towns uh, and areas are people who have done business amongst themselves, you know, for several years. These are very historical and mutually beneficial relationship that um, has been affected for a while since this sanction has, has been placed. So, so I, I know they're very, very excited about it. I know that uh, this will definitely benefit them. I mean, like I said, I'm one of those who also believe that it is time to, you know, step into this, make some of this trade more formal, uh, do whatever we can, you know, on the table and around the table to ensure we speak to the junta and, you know, sort of impress it on them so that they also can play their role in, in all of this. But truth of the matter is we're better off united, we're better off doing business amongst ourselves, we're better off, you know, sort of cementing the relationship that we've had over the years. And uh, truth is, I'm very, very excited. And I'm sure all of those who benefit directly and indirectly from this are also very, very excited. And it's coming at a time that um, uh, our Muslim brothers and sisters, are, you know, um, uh, they just started their, their fasting. And I'm sure 
uh, a lot of them will benefit from this very good development. And then you have spoken about the economic implications of this, but are we likely also to see this kind of olive branch being extended to other states in ECOWAS that have been sanctioned? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's what I expect because truth is, like I said, we're better off united. We're better off working together. Uh, and there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of work to be done economically. There's a lot of, of work to be done uh, security-wise. And uh, we're better off, you know, united. And when I say unity, we, we look, you can't be united to those who are far away from you as much as you can. Uh, with those who are very near you. And we share borders with these people. There, there are about five or six states of Nigeria that is connected to Niger and, and, and the rest of this other uh, Mali, Cote d'Ivoire, and the rest of them that are under sanction. So I expect that this same, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, olive branch will be extended to them as well so that we can have a more united and stronger ECOWAS because it is by working together that we get this done. And I believe that diplomatic ways is the best way to go about, uh, you know, fostering this relationship. Publisher Inside Watch Africa, Oluwashi Adiemo, thank you so much for talking to us on this developing story. Thank you so much for having me.